Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522, and welcome back to Metroid Other M. We found every single item, and now it's time to end this. Alright guys, this is it. Control bridge. So I guess this is where the bottle ship is controlled from. What in the world? Well, there it is, guys. This is the final boss of Metroid Other M, Fantoon. He was never killed on Zebus. He just left the planet. Looks like our boy here wants some revenge. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick move on all his blue fire on his blue blue fireballs. Jesus Christ. Sorry, but the vacuum of space ain't gonna affect me with my gravity suit. Damn, ow, fuck. Okay, whoa, shit. Gotta mine the gap here. Oh shit. So it's pretty much just unloading charge shots in this guy's eyeball, as you do. Ow. Ow. Fucking shit. Those are landmines. And when the hands appear, just screw attack into them. Ow, shit. Whoa, god damn it. God damn, these fireballs are relentless. All right, Fantoon. I'm gonna put you to bed for good this time. Good riddance. Up we go. Now we go down this elevator. And it's suck. Not anymore. Well, looks like we ain't going back this way.
Well, we've been here before. Yeah, this door was locked last time we were here. Alright guys, it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. Five, Let's go. Everything same as touch fucking explodes. Damn it, there's some strays of these ends. Let's just go ahead and jump down. But out of my way. Yeah, your charge our charge pistol can stun enemies. Alright. And of course pressing the morph ball button makes us slide. We need to hit these doors with a charge shot to open them up. Yeah, let's just go ahead and jump over here. Ah, fuck, I just fell. I swear, I mess, I mess that jump up every time. All right, made it. Woo! Yeah, you stay still for a minute, sir. Oh boy, I just barely made that one. Oh, come on, we're almost out. Come on, come on, come on. Home stretch, baby, home stretch. And that's that. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Adam. Let's go home.
And that's it, everybody. Metroid Other M is done. So you're probably thinking, what did I think about this game? Well, I will agree with most people that when I first played this game back when it came out, I mean, I was kind of ske I was kind of skeptical about it, and a bunch of things didn't make sense to me. Things like the prequel manga, I didn't even consider those canon. Just because there was no like official localization for that, which most people didn't have, so that's why I just kind of like wrote it off. Because if the average person didn't know about that, then I mean, then like, why should I? But I don't know. This was this game is a very unique one. It's different from any of the other Metroid games. It's probably the most curious. I mean, when you try to develop a character in a game and you've never really had to talk or show any form of, like, personality or anything like that throughout any of the games, and then suddenly you have this ability to make the character talk, like, show off the character's thoughts and everything, it just felt, it. to be honest, the game did feel like it was being just a huge exposition dump. But, the weird thing is, I love this game now. I used to not like it, but it's like this game holds up more now than it did back then. I don't know if Dread had something to do with that, but... But I just don't really have a problem with the decisions that this game mainly had. But then again, I understand that a whole bunch of you wouldn't agree with me on that. Because I understand that this isn't a Metroid game that everybody... That everybody really likes. In fact, Nintendo doesn't really mention this game at all. Hardly. Which is a shame, because it's literally just a story that one guy wanted to tell. But it just ended up being it just ended up being a thing. Sakamoto's even gone on record and said that if he was given a chance to make this game again, he would not change a single thing. I mean, you have to at least respect a guy who wants to see his vision through. Especially in this day and age when most game developers can't even get that. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I like this game. It's not for everybody, and I understand that. But let's just take it as it is. This game came out in 2010. This game is 11 years old. It's just another part of the Metroid story. That's all it is. And now I'm out of things to say. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. And leave a comment telling me what you thought about the game overall. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you feel indifferent about it? And if you haven't, and you're new, and you enjoy what I do, you can subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to get notified on my uploads, join the Fox Army, and I'll see you guys on the next game. Till then, see you then. Thank you for watching.
Perfect. Congratulations.